The federal government will bolster Australia's surveillance capabilities with a new investment in air defence. Georgia Simpson has the details from the Avalon Air Show. Behind me is a model of the Triton. It's a surveillance aircraft and it's able to provide real-time intelligence and reconnaissance over huge areas of ocean and coastal regions. As you can appreciate, Australia's geography is a pretty good fit. The aircraft's wingspan is about 131 foot across, something Defence Minister Richard Miles was keen to point out. This is a large UAV. Um, it's got the wingspan of a 737. It can fly for up to 24 hours and it will be able to provide persistent reconnaissance and surveillance of our northern uh, maritime approaches, which is so important in terms of the defence of our nation. A key feature of the Triton is that it's crewless. It's essentially a huge drone. It's able to surveil more than 2.5 million square kilometres of ocean in one flight. It will be useful in spotting illegal fishing in Australian waters. There are three on order and this is part of a partnership between the Australian Defence Department, the United States Navy and Northrop Grumman. The Australian Air Force will re-establish the historic Number 9 Squadron to operate the Triton. Air Marshal Rob Chipman was thrilled about this detail and provided a brief history of the significance of the squadron. We are delighted with the announcement that 9 Squadron will be reformed. It is a storied squadron in the Royal Australian Air Force's history. In World War II it saw operational service with Navy flying from our cruisers, HMAS ships, uh, um, Hobart, Perth, Sydney, Canberra and Australia from the Arctic all the way down to the Southwest Pacific and 22 servicemen lost their lives in World War II serving with 9 Squadron. As for how much each one of these costs, Minister Miles wasn't across that detail but he did say he'd endeavour to find out.